Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial. I am Bionic Lombax and today I'm gonna show you how to use the web projector to, to stream your browser in the Altpace app. First and foremost, I'm gonna provide every link in the description of the video. So let's start. The most important thing to say in the, in, in the beginning is that you need a PC which is either a, brow um, a window or a Mac. Then the second requirement is to use a uh, Edge browser, Microsoft Edge, like this one. You see, if you have a Windows computer, of course you're gonna have a, an Edge, a Microsoft Edge browser already ready to use. If you have a Windows 10, well, here it says that you can use, you can stream from a Mac computer, but the web projector won't be available yet in the Allspace software used in the, with the Mac client. Okay, first and foremost, uh, we go into the Allspace app, like I'm already doing it. Be sure to have enabled the Word Editor feature. The tutorial to enable it will be in the description as well. It's one of my previous videos, but just to recap very quickly, if you do, you do not have this one at the beginning in your house, you just need to go to settings in your menu you and then in the general there's gonna be participate in early access program and enable words beta to toggle on both after that you can show you can see the word editor feature in the word editor feature you click on the editor panel from there this menu is gonna show up you click on basic and it and there it is the web projector if you click on the web projector this screen is going to show up. Oh, by the way, the process is, is nearly identical in the VR. You will just have more info to do. As you can see, a, tuto a, a small tutorial is already here. This screen is going to be the one you are going to stream your browser from. So the content of your screen will be here. You can, if you are in edit mode, which is described by this yellow button turn, being turned on, if you are in the edit mode, you can freely move the screen around and you can also resize it to your desire. In this case, let's put it here with this size. And then let's start. We can leave all space because we don't need it for now. Let's just toggle edit mode off because for now the screen is okay. And then let's come back to it later. Okay, so, mm -mm -mm. as you can see, to begin, you have to, first and foremost, download the web projector. The link for the web projector will be in the description, but it can be found here, in this link. Clicking here, we'll, we'll open this Edge tab. From there, you just scroll all the text, click on Accept, and a download is going gonna, is gonna to prompt to your page. And there it is already downloaded for me, but you can see you just have to save it wherever you want in your PC. I'm not going to do it though because I already have it. After you have downloaded it, you have to click on the file, which is a compressed file, and you have to uncompress it. In order to uncompress it, I'm using the RAR program, the point RAR, that can uncompress files and make it so it's like a folder. So there it is. This is the file you download, and this is the file after it's uncompressed. If you want to uncompress the file, you just click on extract or extract in the folder, and this, this is going to create this folder. You can leave it at that, and then go on with your life. After that, you need to sideload the extension you just downloaded as a RAR, on your Edge browser. To do that, you can either see this tutorial. If you click on, on here, on this link, you're going to open this page, which is going to show the process in huge detail. But let me, let me tell you very quickly how to do that. So this is your Edge browser. Then you go to these three dots, you click on it, and then 
under the app section you see you find the extension of course i'm italian so this is a, an Ita the italian version of the edge browser but still extension is here you click on extension it's gonna open this the extension section of your browser from there i have already all set up but if it's your first time being here you have to toggle on developer mode i'll translate this is the developer mode you see now it's turned off and now it's turned on and then second thing you have to do is to click on here which is going to show up as load and compress to you but to me is in italian still if you click on it a search bar is going to let you search for the folder you previously un unpacked which is here if you click on select the extension is going to appear here as you can already see because I already done it if you want to change some settings so you can click on details here and you can modify some settings for example you can put access to URL of files you can collect details of errors because it's a beta feature so it can be improved on of course be sure that this is turned on so that it works after that you can you either close extension reload your hedge browser and this tab is gonna show up this is the extension of Allspace from here if you click on it first time is gonna ask you to log in login inside of this app means that you put your Allspace VR credentials like your email and your password I already done it so this is tab after you log in uh, this server rule is useless for what you're doing and also the user ID all that's left to say is what are they for of course start streaming you have to click it so that you can start streaming your app but what you are streaming depends on the source if you click on edge tab it's gonna show just what's in this tab and this tab only so like if you open another one it's not gonna show this tab just this one for example let's do it now if you click edge tab start streaming you can see now this little icon is going to appear here and all the content of this page is going to be showed so you can stream youtube with this option so that if you want a youtube player that only you can control in your Allspace world this is how you can do it that's pretty much all you need to do to prepare your computer for streaming right now you are already able to stream you need to go back to the Allspace app and then it's very simple since you have put your own credentials in the same account as the one whose credentials were put in the login of the extension you need to click on connect and it's gonna connect to the computer you see this is my screen now last but not least is the broadcast button after you click on connect the content of your screen is gonna be showed but just to you if there is anybody else in your room you need to broadcast it so you be sure you always click broadcasting because if you don't and if this green dot is not appearing again uh, next to broadcasting nobody in the room will be able to see it just you go back uh, to the edge browser and you start typing stuff like this and as you can see the same thing is appearing in real time here okay so this is pretty much it you, but if you want to screen more like not only the edge tab but also the content of your entire screen then you just have to change one little option in the edge browser you go here you stop streaming for now and you change the source from edge tab to desktop application if you click on the sources desktop application and start streaming the content of your screen is going to show up instead of just the edge tab but i want i'm, I'm not going to do it now because there's a problem with this option right now as you can see from the video i'm using both the all space from a pc and streaming with the same pc if you use the same pc it's gonna crash the audio and screen is going to have some problems with sharing your own screen 
because of course you are streaming a screen that is streaming himself so it's gonna mirror itself forever the audio can get really buggy and laggy no problem let me let me show you because it's better if i show it so i, I click on connect the screen is gonna turn green until i click on something in the edge now i'm gonna share the desktop application beware for eye noises and there it is you see it's gonna loop forever and the audio is gonna crash in a while but of course this is not a problem if you connect from a vr headset because if you connect from a vr headset of course you can just uh, forget about what i just said you can normally start streaming the desktop application and then you go in vr and click on connect from the vr app in that case no problem is gonna appear but just saying if you do it like like this from a pc don't do that but of course uh, do that in vr and you're gonna be fine there's only one problem with this tutorial you may be wondering what if i want to share like netflix my netflix account or something like that what if i want to show an amazon prime movie with this would i be able to do that well let's see it together for ourselves let's do it for ourselves let's see just edge app let's start streaming and then from there we just go to Netflix and let's see what does it do okay let's see I want to see spider-man today I feel like I want to see spider-man And it's loading. Of course, you won't see the loading screen because I'm gonna cut it. I want a life of my own. You've been given a gift, Peter. You see? With great power. Can you see it? Comes great response. No, I don't see anything. Well, let's try here. Maybe you can see it here. Take my hands up. Oh, look. It's just a blank screen. Why is that? Well, it's because, of course, Netflix and Amazon Prime won't let you just stream it casually like this well so as you as I showed you you cannot just stream Netflix like this you need another way the other way is to use Firefox yeah Firefox Firefox is another browser that you can get for free from here you may be able to do it you still log in into your Netflix account you show Spider-Man easy now again like I showed you before no more okay you are probably won't you probably won't see this though or maybe you do I don't know because this is my first time no using more. the active presenter software that I'm using for sharing my screen to you but still this is what I'm seeing with the Firefox I'm seeing the movie then you go to your Edge app and you start screen streaming instead of the Edge tab the desktop application. Then you click on it, you share it, you close it, you put it in full screen. Now you are sharing your org, the content of your screen on all space. And believe me, it works. Raindrops keep falling on my head. And just if like you the were to see it from the Allspace app, just by connecting it, nothing seems to fit. That, that's why I cannot show you, because so the same PC is going to make problems. But if I were to connect myself from VR, I would be able to see it. And I said I didn't like the way he got Okay, I think I said everything I needed to say about this tutorial. We started off from the extension, how to get it, how to get Allspace. You open Allspace, you put this web projector, you connect it. Oh, one thing I didn't say though, 
is that after you put the web projector inside of your world, you have to say to everybody in the room after you broadcast it that everybody has to put the settings for himself about audio volume because uh, the, at the start they're gonna come in the world they're, they're gonna see full volume no matter where they are and it could be very annoying so what do you do in that case you just tell them to come here in settings they click on settings after you connect or, or before it doesn't matter you just tell them to click on settings and then they can choose their own volume and they can also choose whether it's special or not special means that the volume is going to depend on the source position so like if you are far far away from the source like i am right now you're going to see a drop in in volume so that if you want for example not to see it from a distance or not to hear it from a distance you just have to go very very far and you won't be able to see or hear the movie anymore or the stream the content on your screen or you can just put it not special and uh, uh, no matter where you are the volume is gonna just say the same now I've actually covered everything I think if I missed anything and if I have any if I uh, missed any part uh, and if something is not clear just let me know in the comments and I'll be I'll try my best to answer all your questions and I also hope that you're gonna use this power with great responsibility because the power to stream Netflix is a very great power and with it comes great responsibility just that's also why the scene I was showing off before that was the scene, the scene from Spider-Man 2 where he's where Peter is talking with Uncle Ben it's because it's all connected to this concept bye bye see you next video And I said I didn't like the way he got things done Sleeping on the job Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling Cause I'm free Nothing's worrying me Don't pop! Sorry! Thanks! Tau equals zero, the eigenvalues are someone, please. 0.23 electron volts.